In this brief tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to remove background noise in Audacity. Background noise can be a real downer, especially when you have this fantastic interview that you wanna keep and cherish and share with your listeners, but then the air conditioning was on in the background, there was a fan that was you know, picking up in the microphone, your neighbor started mowing the lawn, whatever it is, there's some kind of background noise that's really distracting and you wanna get rid of it. I'm gonna show you how to do that in Audacity. So I've gone ahead and brought in an audio file that you can see has a good bit of background noise. That's what all this is. All of this is a hum that was captured while I was recording. So the first thing you're gonna do is help Audacity isolate that background noise. Make sure that you have a recorded selection where there's absolutely no one talking and it's just the background noise. If you don't have a selection this big, you just wanna find somewhere in that audio where you can isolate it. You're gonna make a selection using your selection tool, go up to effect, and then noise reduction. So here, the first step is you're gonna click get noise profile. And this again, just lets Audacity know what to filter out. So it'll keep all the voices, it'll keep all the audio recordings and remove the background noise. So now Audacity has identified those particular frequencies that you wanna remove. So I'm gonna select the entire track because I want it removed from this track, go back to effect and click noise reduction again. And now I'm actually going to remove the noise. So the first option that you have is the amount of noise reduction that you want Audacity to take out. You don't wanna overdo it because it might make your audio sound like you're recording underwater, um, but 12 decibels is a nice place to start. These second two options, sensitivity and frequency smoothing bands, I would leave these as their default settings of six and three. They essentially just give you a couple more levers to pull from to isolate the noise frequency and reduce it but you'll wanna start with the default because if you get too in the weeds of trying to fine tune these, you might actually end up with something worse than what you started with, which is definitely not the goal. So you can preview what your audio is gonna sound like with these settings applied. And if it doesn't reduce them enough, then you can increase this noise reduction uh, by going to 13, 14, 15, 20, 30 decibels, whatever you think is appropriate, previewing it again, continuing to do that until you feel like it's in a really good spot and then click Okay, so now you can see Audacity removed most of that noise, um, but there's still a little bit left. So if I want to undo that, just hit Control Z or Command Z on my keyboard, I can go back to the effects, click on noise reduction, and now let's increase this to 15 instead of 12 and hit okay. So now it's basically completely removed it. So the, that's the give and take where you really wanna Try the default settings first, see how it does, and then if you need to, apply more. But you wanna apply just enough to remove the noise without impacting the rest of your audio. Now, if you wanna learn even more about how to edit your podcast episodes in Audacity from applying compression, using fades to fine tune your volume, and cutting out tracks and moving them around, that I would encourage you to check out our Audacity tutorial playlist here on our YouTube channel. I'll leave a link in the description below so you can click and check that out. And if you're new here, I wanna encourage you to subscribe to the Buzzsprout YouTube channel. Every single week we put out new gear review videos, podcast strategy videos, and software tutorials like the one you just watched to really help you on your podcasting journey. Well, thanks for watching, and until next time, keep podcasting.